Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new demo. Today we have the Lightning Wings Backpack and Glider, which we have the backpack on here, and the Savage Scale Pack, from which we have the Savage Scale Chest and the Savage Scale Loincloth, which um, we have both of them on here. An interesting combination of items to release, as they've very just different thematically to each other. I feel like this outfit, like the uh, loincloth and the chest piece, could really work well as a reward from Eternal Coliseum, maybe, in PvP. But we have them here on the gem store. They look pretty decent. Bit of a gladiator sort of vibe. Here is the glider of the backpack. It seems to blend well enough. Uh, it doesn't seem to be much of a fade from going glider to backpack, only backpack to glider. Which is a bit annoying. Let's try that from really high up so we can get a nice shot of it. So the backpack, I think there's a bit of a drop off there when you go into the glider. There is. But that's breaking. And that's all those. Ooh, we need to land on land, please. Looks pretty good, though. Oh, there was a bit of a fade there. It's just uh, hidden a little bit by the motion blur. All right, let's look at the default dies of both of these. So currently on the chest piece, we have Midnight Ice, Moss, Khaki, and Lilac. And then for the loincloth, we have Pyre on top with Cherry and Key Lime down below. For the backpack and the glider, we have Shadow Abyss with Cherry on top with Pyre and Winter Breeze down below. So the default for the loincloth and chest piece are presumably the same. Yes, they are. Midnight Ice and Blue Steel on top with River and Lilac down below. And then for the backpack... And the glider, they're also presumably the same, yes. which is pitch and kyanite on top with brick and winter breeze down below. I do like that uh, color pattern. Pretty cool. I suppose they are both blue, so in that regard they kind of work together, but... Hmm. Alright, let's go for full shadow abyss. So here is Full Shadow Abyss, and as you can see, it seems like pretty much every part of the items can be dyed. There's a little bit of a oranginess readiness right here uh, on the kind of holder part of the wings, but that is all I can see. Actually, they do flap when you jump, it seems, or at least extend, not quite a full flap. But they do have a bit of a extendiness to them. Okay, let's go for the individual die channels. Here we go. First up, the chest piece. Top left is the scales of the armor. Top right is the lower layer of the armor, the smaller scales there at the bottom. Bottom left is all the straps. And, well, not the buckle. I'd say that's what bottom right's going to be, is the buckles and, yeah, the buckles and all the metal parts of the armor. All the rings and all that. Very nice. For the loincloth, again, top left is the large scales on top. Bottom right is the lower layer, the chain mail part of the armor. I think it's chain anyway, not scales. Kind of looks it from this angle. Bottom left is the belt and the straps, and then bottom right is all the buckles and all that. And studs, okay. For the wings, the top left is the main structure of the back part. Top right is the feathers, or at least part of them. Bottom left is a sort of highlight layer on the actual backpack part. And then bottom right is the lightning aura and a little layer of the wings, as well as that central little orby bit there. Pretty cool, with just the orange. Very nice indeed. For the glider, it's the same thing. Top left is the main structure. Top right is the wings. Bottom left is the highlight layer of the main structure. And bottom right is the aura, the lightning, and a little layer of the wing part too. And here is a contrasting layer. So we blue on the top left, green on the top right, purple on the bottom left, and orange on the bottom right. And that's how all the different layers interact with each other. It's kind of hard to see the purple here. You see there's some purple on the uh, 
front here. Let's zoom in a bit there. But yeah, that's how they all blend together. Let's have a quick extra look at the glider with the contrasting layers. There it is from above. Kind of see the purple. It's more like a wire, it seems, on the backpack. Interesting. Maybe it's providing the power. I pressed space to flap. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Well, there we have the new items on Quando. Let's go check them out. Ooh, nice in the dark on all the different races of Tyria. I do like the gradient on the uh, the wings here. Nice blending of the two different tones. Uh, let's go check them out on all the different races of Tyria. Here we go. And here we are on Silvari with the brand new Lightning Wings backpack and glider, as well as the Savage Scale chest and loincloth. There we have it. I'm looking forward to seeing this, I think, on Norn. I think it'll look best. So I do. It just feels like a Norny thing to wear, I guess. <laughs> I do quite like the blue and the purple on the backpack, though. It's looking very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at the glider. Yeah, I quite like that. Sound effects are really cool too. Let's have a look at the dies. So, on the chest we have iron and blue steel with grape gum and pink tint. Same for the loincloth. And for the backpack we have pitch and cyanite on top with robin and grape gum down below. And then for the glider we have white gold and grape gum on top with grape gum and robin down below. All right, let's move on to our next character. Here we go. Here we are on human with the new scale pack as well as the lightning wings. It's definitely not the right map to be uh, wearing this on. But there we go. The wings do look really nice with the purple and the into the blue. Which is good to see. Let's have a look at the glider. If I can, there we go. There is the glider. Let's have a look at the dies. So, we have just die remover, which actually looks pretty good. It's got the gray and the brown, like it's kind of the classic colors you would expect from a, a scale mill armor piece. For the backpack, we have Starry Night and Cyanite on top with Midnight Blue and Orchid down below. And then for the glider, we have Starry Night and Orchid on top with Dire Remover down below, which has now been set to just regular. But I think I prefer it. Do I prefer it like that? Like that. Anyhow, let's head on to Norn. Here we go. Here we are on Norn with the new Savage Scale Pack and Lightning Wings Backpack and Glider. It looks like it's default dies for the backpack. Uh, very interesting. I do quite like the little darkness to the scales here on the chest piece. But I think that just the default kind of gray scale and leather straps is probably my preference so far. Let's have a look at the glider. Ooh, a nice hint of pink. Very good, very good. Looks very nice indeed. When you're on the brakes. Pulling back, I should say. Let's have a look at these dye channels. So, on top we have Swamp Black, Blue Steel, Cocoa, and Lilac. Down below we have Ebony, Cocoa, Shadow Abyss, and Lilac as well. Then for the backpack, we have Pitch, Cyanite, Brick, and Winter Breeze. And for the glider, we have Dijon, Dust, Sky, and Glory. Which I quite like that one, actually. That would be good on Circe, probably. Anywho, let's move on to Char. Here we go. 
Okay, what will it look like on Char? It actually looks really good with the uh, hound skin, I think. It could look great with that. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting, that. Oh, anyway, let's go. Here we are on Char. I really like it with the backpack. I believe this is the Flashpoint reward, if you're looking for it. I want to say it's Flashpoint. Yeah, hound skin mantle. Uh, it does really work with the chainmail, I think. It gives the same sort of gladiator vibe. Don't know what else would go with it, but it's a start. I also really like the dye pattern on this glider. Uh, it looks really sinister and really cool. Uh, if I remember correctly from when I was swapping them over, I think I preferred the glider even more. So let's go for a glide. Oh, yes. That's really cool as well. Very nice indeed. And what do these look like without the hound skin? I think it works with the hound skin. Hmm. Right, the dies here. We have blue steel with burner steel on top, and then burner steel with lilac down below. Uh, it's blue steel, burner steel, and then blue steel with lilac for the loincloth. For the backpack, we have pitch with crimson line on top, and then shadow abyss and destroyer orange down below. And then for the glider, we have shadow abyss with midnight red, and then shadow abyss and destroyer orange. It looks really, really cool. All right, let's head back to Quando and wrap up this video. Here we go. Well, that is it from me for today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more in the future. You can check out the giveaway for the Lightning Wings or a Savage Scale pack in the end screen, which should be popping up any minute now. Uh, so, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. You can join the Discord. The link for that is down below. I can also support the channel through the membership program as well if you would like to. That's it from me for now. Until next time, and I shall be hopefully streaming the Battle for Lion's Arch. Uh, very soon and hopefully we'll be getting that new Lion's Arch Pass. I'm very excited to see what is available in that. So that will hopefully be this evening or if not this evening, tomorrow evening. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Take care.